This is uh, we're up to hectic knife, guys. This th- this actually has a cool uh, has a little cool thing. Yeah, this was sent uh, to the us. The filmmaker. Submitted by the director. The filmmaker got a hold of us. Yeah. Great asking Deliso. for the review. So, we're going to do it up. Um, we're going to be totally honest about this. Anybody who wants us to review your movie, there's a lot of people on Twitter that have made movies. Send, we'll, them, send them to us. We'll tell you what we think. We'll be utterly we honest, might, We might watch it. We'll be honest. <laughs> if, if it you don't send have it. a trailer, forget it. If the trailer looks absolutely ridiculous, forget it. James Ray is <laughs> counting on us it. to give honest interviews. Yeah, James Ray. Yeah, our one, our one. <laughs> James Ray is our counting mega on fan, us. James Ray to give honest um, interviews, and we will not lie to James Ray. I'd say or to anyone else, <laughs> but James, you're the only one listening. Well, uh, Hectic Knife is a movie uh, direct. Uh, just came out. It's on Troma. Directed, 2016. Directed by Greg DeLiso. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it released by Troma recently available on the Troma Now app. But it's a li- uh, six years of labor and love, evidently, by Greg and uh, the star of the film, Peter Litvin. Um, the summary? A put-upon knife-wielding vigilante, Hectic Knife, protects the city from scum, baddies, and is and a new supervillain bent on world domination, domination, Piggly Doctor. So get it out of the way, guys. Well, I, I, l- l- real quick, <laughs> let me add. Let me no. Let me add that this is uh, this actually came out on Blu-ray, <coughs> just January 9th. Wow! You can pick it up on Amazon for twelve ninety nine. Damn. So I I think I'm going to be the the one that liked this the most. So I will I will reveal my opinions. Well, so so it's a. a a vigilante who yeah, uh, yeah and uses some knives to kill the baddies. Let's uh, let's let them know what the movie is. It's a trauma movie. This uh, to is the, to the most. I think I read that this is a, a fifteen thousand dollar budget. Yep, was what they were working with. I mean, this is absolutely a trauma movie. What you expect out of it? Uh, they yeah. there's no money, so the film quality isn't going to be like Very blow you away. Budget. The, uh, the actors are clearly people they knew who are just, I mean, this is as low budget as it well, gets. Uh, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me jump, some, let me jump, jump in right there. In yeah, there. no, besides hectic, I thought the actors were, were okay. Like, I. Uh, well, if, if, if you're grading on the what this is. What this reminded and me of. And that's the only reason I set it up. You're like, no, I, you're not going to watch this and suddenly think you were watching a movie that had a budget. If you don't yeah, right. like shit like so, this, you probably shouldn't watch it. it. Every, um, I just wanted to set that up before we go on because there are positives to talk about. I, it reminded I think, me a lot of. And, um, and y- you got to know. One, that's uh, one of the positives. The, the, yeah. Well, let me just be honest. Well, I went into this thinking it was going to be god awful. This. <laughs> Leading up to watching this movie, it was a burden. Like this is the first movie I was like, Jesus, I okay, I have to watch this. Um, but I was surprised. I mean, this this movie has a lot of funny parts in it. I thought the yes. acting was okay. Um, it, it's mostly shot in black and white, so that definitely helped. Like the yeah, the, the blood the and the stuff. quality and the look. So I thought. I thought that was cool. They even have like some some colors, some spice, some CGI flashes here yeah. and there that worked well. Um, but no, I I expected the worst, and I was surprised. It was it was okay. Yeah, if you go into this movie expecting it to be the worst thing you've ever seen, and you've watched <laughs> The Oregonian, you'll walk away saying that was not the this worst is, thing I've ever no, seen. No, this is not. This is way better than Oregonian. <laughs> if you if you are a fan of like Terror Firmer or any of the weirder trauma movies, I would watch this. If you've seen like SFW or Nowhere or the Doom Generation, really weird shit like that. Honestly, if the Oregonian would have had more dialogue like this movie has, it would have bumped it up like quite a bit for me anyways. Yeah, uh, that the the, di- the dialogue was pretty pretty funny, um, and also like the way they talk about the movie in the movie. Yeah, I, I believe it's very that's aware. called. I believe that's called something. Meta. Actually. It's meta, but it's breaking the fourth uh, wall. Yeah. It, it it works in this. Yeah, they could because they'll directly they'll directly uh, address it, it. It makes fun of itself. Before as well. watching it, I watched just the first scene in the alleyway. 
And I think I even told you guys, like after watching the first scene, I was really hopeful on it yeah. because the the first scene I think is really good. Um, <clears throat> throughout the movie, one of my one when I like movies like this, certain ones, I'm a fan of it. What I like about these kind of movies is making fun of them. When I watch a bad horror camping horror movie, I like making fun of it. This where the where this movie ended up not working for me and me not being like no this is a good movie is it's too self aware. I like fourth wall breaking. I like things making fun of themselves when it's in this vein. If it beats me to the punch at every joke, like I go to make a joke and it's there and beats me to it. You've <laughs> you robbed like it's selfish. He Why are you couldn't, so he selfish? Couldn't, he couldn't shit on oh, it. Someone <laughs> someone beat you to the punchline. You robbed. I me. want to shit on you this movie. Better you weren't better than uh, yeah, one well, person for once in your life. I'm just saying that's what I enjoy about bad horror movies, and and it it took it from me. I Good didn't job. get to have see, that. See, Greg, Good job. You made Jared where he can't make fun of your movie. <laughs> yeah, see, this, this, these kind of movies, it's just where I, I usually draw my line. I don't tend to go this low budget. It, it just, oh, I just don't like it. Yeah. Uh, but this was, this was like you said. I think you said that, um, you know, have some laughs or laugh at it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you also made the comment that it it doesn't seem too long. I. There's a few parts in there where the bagel scene is real fucking long. Like the bagel I'm, scene's really long, but intentionally. Yes. So I didn't. No, but I'm I'm checking. I'm hitting pause to see how much longer I have. <laughs> I didn't have that on this. Like the Oregonian. Oh God, Jesus! I was yeah, checking. I was every on. I had that an hour. bar up the whole time. And think about it. that movie went to film festivals, and this movie didn't. But yeah, this did. is they, they oh, just, did? Yeah, they took this to film festivals. Well, what this kind movie of, is. I, mean, yeah. I could throw a film festival. This but. movie is pretty much. Like Troma's version of a Deadpool. It is exactly what this movie is. It's Troma's version of a Deadpool. It's so, a, it's a way, self-aware superhero movie done Troma style. I would love to see... And uh, I thought I thought that the one thing I do give it credit on is I thought it did really good at being very copy and paste superhero formula storyline, which is why yeah. I didn't think it moved long. But it didn't give purpose for any of the reasons, which worked. Right. It, because it, it's no, like... You know a movie. It's making fun of itself. You know a movie. This is where they do this now. And in st- like the some of the dialogue I thought was great in it is a lot of the actors dialogue in this movie is them telling you very specifically and flatly what they are doing at that point. Right. Like, oh, you're stabbing me. You're killing me with a knife. And then they'll turn the tables in the fight and be like, oh, now you're now you're no, killing me with the same knife. place. <laughs> Let me see the tag. Or, hey, see the tag or when they go to do stuff. Yeah, those guys are good. Those are good actors. Uh, you can put them in anything. Your show was four ninety nine dollars too? I'm looking at the tape right now. Four ninety nine. dollars well, That's all it is. I guess we both shop at the same place, huh? My shirt was also four ninety nine. dollars Both our shirts were four ninety nine. dollars you're right. Fuck. Both that shirts were four ninety nine. So make a wish. Well, why are you getting so repetitious? When yeah. when they go when they go to switch the plot into a point where in a superhero they would normally do things like you meet your family, your estranged family. Like in this, it's very hey he passes a guy on the street. Hey, I'm your dad. That scene yeah. was awesome. That was my favorite and then, thing. And then the that dad, the, while they're sitting at the ca- or at the cafe, the dad's like, you should go talk to the rest of your family now. Yeah, yeah, I got I'll some, go I got some of the dad scenes right here. Uh, some dialogue between Hectic and his dad. Um, when Hectic says, you remember when you abandoned us? And he says, his dad says, well, having a family's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, lines like that or whenever he gets more coffee and his dad says you always get more coffee and he says sometimes you just gotta let the bitch fill the cup that's fuck i want that on a t-shirt because that's a fucking slogan you should do that um a good slogan for a restaurant <laughs> coffee shop there was a lot too much stuff in this for me to like nuanced bullshit that i liked i loved all the weird conversations they had that's the shit that or- the oregonian could have done to make because that shit that they put in there that the few dialogue moments it would have made it better we're gonna bash on that movie i, <laughs> I think till the end of time but the, the, it the, deservedly the scene with the orange pills was great where he's just talking about the orange pills no see it orange pill before <laughs> all my life never seen orange, pill. orange pills ain't seen no orange pills in my whole fucking life 
never, never did I see no orange pills in no drug bag. I have never seen that, never. And I've seen a lot of drugs. Believe me, you could tell by looking at me. I see drugs. I, uh, no orange. No orange drugs. No never. No time. Ever. That's right. Never seen. Never seen. <laughs> and then, like, the shit at the end when that, like, the one actor's like, you remember when I was a bad guy all of a sudden for no reason? <laughs> like, that shit is gold to me. Uh, yeah. So what I liked was the, the, him, him hectic <laughs> prancing around doing his, his oh, nice yeah. When he does his <laughs> dangling him. That, that was pretty funny. Uh, you're not a good father. I know. You named me Hectic Knife. I know. I love that. That's good shit to me. I like it's how it, it's like a, an adult swim thing. You would see like late at night. On yeah, it's thing. it's just it's ridiculousness. I did think through I the whole thing, like an but angel of death. Rip just off coherent enough. <laughs> I don't if, if you. Oh, yeah. Them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The there's they, they do. I, I, they, I think they even make a Slayer reference or a Raining Blood reference or an angel of death right before it. and then whoever wrote the music for this i mean it's not exact it's not exact but man it's fucking close the hectic right. knife song right before the final battle is a pretty fucking sweet ass uh melody i think i'd like to play that right which we've left out the villain the piggly doctor yeah uh they they do a brilliant job of of setting up his motivation of what are you even doing going to take over the world and there are a few points in it where it's like, well, what if Hec- Hectic Knife asks, well, what if I fail? I rule the world. <laughs> like, they don't give him a plan. They just tell you that that's the stakes. Yeah, and Piggly Doctor reminded me of, like, Ted, Mc- like a gay Ted McGinley or something like that. You know? <laughs> but I, I think that, I like, I, I love this movie. I thought it was an 8 out of 10 for me. I would like to see, like, a an Avengers with the Toxic Avenger and uh, Hectic Knife and Sergeant Kabuki Man. Do it, Troma. You can do it. And you have the abilities. What'd you guys give this one? Jared? I gave it a five. Wow. I gave it a five. I, I think the first scene was kind of what I wanted the whole movie to be. And I think I'd have rated it a lot stronger. Like I said, I, I don't mind the meta and the self-aware, but it's pretty constant in this. And for as good as certain chunks were, it didn't need to be. They didn't need to just make fun of it through the whole movie. They you they, could have done that. They could have done. <laughs> they could have done some other stuff. That's more in line with the first thing. I'd probably right. give it a seven or an eight. That's all. I gave it a three. Um, and again, I don't. I don't watch too many low budget movies. I haven't seen a whole lot of trauma movies, but the ones that I have seen, like Toxic Avenger, uh, Mother's Day. It's a Madman one. Mm. There's a slasher. Anyway, yeah. those are those are trauma movies that I really like, and I would I would say those are probably somewhere around seven, uh, six or seven. So yep. three doesn't isn't necessarily as bad as what it, it may sound. Because coming from me, yeah, I've, I've I just seen, I just don't usually watch. You. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot worse. Like I normally rate low budget movies. Like this, like Luther the Geek, nothing happens in it. So it's really boring to me, so I ran it low. This is funny. It is funny. Ba- bad movie, bad movie or not, or good bad movie or not, you'll laugh quite a bit. It may get a little long in points, and you there's definitely places you'll see, you'll be like, man, you didn't have to do this, do something, but you'll laugh. And- it's fun. Put it on at your party. There you go. You're having a party. Yeah, this is one to watch with the group of friends. It's a Mystery Science Theater 3000. Throw it on with a bunch of friends and make fun of it. Except they beat you to the punch. Yeah. On every can't, fucking can't joke. can't bully this movie. Don't fucking... Don't fuck with Hectic Knife. <laughs> hey, you shutting it off? Or aren't I we going to say... I, the camera shut off. Are we going to... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, we got to say goodbye, don't we? Yeah, I got to turn back on. <laughs> don't address everything, Jared. <laughs> I'm going to address it. <laughs> You're addressing production details. Cut it out. I can't. I don't want to. Cutting out my vapes. Yeah. I have to cut your vapes out already. No, I mean, cut out. Yeah, I thought we was going to make that a rule that Jared can wait 45 minutes to hit his vape. <laughs> Jared will stay at home with all his equipment. <laughs> Let's not make Jared stay I thought home. I told you he'd whine about it. No, I just don't want to cut them all out. 
That's all. Yep. I guess. No, you don't got to cut them out. I only asked you to cut them out of Rab's interview because right. I screwed up. But his you got podcast. another interview coming up. Uh, Sean never asked me to cut them out. <laughs> no, so it was for Rab's benefit. Yeah, if you don't listen to the podcast and know that get I get it, Rab, he's these. gonna be vaping it up, bro. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, listening, uh, all that stuff. Please, uh, please do us a favor and uh, review us on iTunes. We haven't got a single yeah, fucking one. Like, subscribe, share on Facebook. Share I mean, we up. got talk to us. We got a few people that's like their Facebook page, but yeah, James, no Race. one James interacts Race at all. Sticking in there, man. Talk to us. We like yeah. talking to people. We'll talk to you forever too about we'll fucking, any number of dumb things. I'm ch- I'm chatty. I mean, why why <laughs> like a horror page if you don't want to like discuss yeah. horror or watch the videos? Stop by we know you motherfuckers things. are watching shit. <laughs> we, clear, we clearly say stupid things. We'll say stupid things to you. Well, we're trying to say thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. See you later. I was yeah. saying thank you. Hectic knife, hectic knife, he's here, he won't feel pity. Hectic knife, hectic knife, the way he treated me was shitty. The bagel scene was really dumb, went on forever, and no one cared at all. This is a real stupid fucking Fortress Haas, Fortress Haas. Too bad I never got to meet her There was a junkie in the opening Hardboard eggs and a diaper Rock and Ray was stabbed to death Too bad I never got to meet him either His family was really cool I hope that piggly doctor didn't kill them all Hectic night. Piglies disappear pills. This song is boring. This song is boring. boring. There's only one scene.